Ladies and gentlemen, uh, it's indeed an honour for me as Chair of the Health Committee here in the House of Commons to address you this evening and to tell you what an honour it is for all of us as parliamentarians to be sitting in this, in this building today. You know, last week uh, the House of Commons remembered one of our colleagues, Dave Batters. He was a friend of mine and a former member of this parliament. Among other things, Dave was remembered for his devotion to his country and his integrity and loyalty to his colleagues. However, Dave tragically lost this battle with depression and anxiety last summer. And one of the saddest days was when we saw his wife sitting in the gallery as we play, paid tribute to Dave and to all the very courageous people that stand up and talk about this illness and this part of life that affects so many people. Nearly one in five Canadians is affected by mental illness, yet a persistent stigma prevents millions from getting the help they need. The continuing theme of Mental Illness Awareness Week, Face Mental Illness, is designed to change that. For too long, Canadians with mental illnesses have been in the shadows. Too few Canadians know about the burden of mental illness on our society, and too few sufferers seek help when they need it. People suffering from mental illness need not be burdened by a negative stigma from the general population and healthcare professionals. This week provides us all an opportunity to better understand mental illness. By encouraging those affected to seek help, we can reduce the burden of mental illness on sufferers and on our society. By sharing their stories, the courageous faces of the Mental Illness Awareness uh, Week campaign are helping to bring mental illness from out of the shadows. Their experiences are proof that through proper diagnosis, treatment and awareness, people with mental illnesses can live productive and fulfilling lives. So as chair of the Standing Committee on Health, I can assure you that action on behalf of mental illness is of great concern to all the members of the committee and on behalf of the members of the Standing Committee on Health, I want to commend the recipients of the Champions of Mental Health Awards tonight. And I want to say, listening to Mr. Mark Grushi, um, I want to say thank you for your courage at being able uh, to come out and educate uh, the world about what um, mental illness is all about. Now, Mark is an extremely bright a criminal defense attorney who lives in St. John's, Newfoundland. And um, I, I have to say that more people that do this uh, gives everybody a better understanding. When you said in your speech, Mark, that it can be the politician, I mean, people believe that, you know, when it can be your politician, when you can be the doctor, when you can be the bus driver, when you can be the person next door, it affects all of us in all walks of life. So the courage that's shown here tonight by the faces that come forward with the stories are going to impact and make a difference on all of us. So I want to say a heartfelt thank you.